selling my go-kart it's been great fun it's taking up a little too much room time to move on to different projects let me give you a little rundown of everything so you know what you're getting um starting off with the heart of it we got a 700 cc two-stroke engine from a 2004 sx viper um it's got srx triple pipes on it and srx ecu since the sx viper ecu was running a little hot i still got that original ecu if you want to do some drag racing or anything but the timing is a little aggressive um currently pumping about 140 horsepower with this uh without the nitrous i got a 30 shot of nitrous so with that you're getting about 170. I have some other jets for the nitrous if you want to pump it up to like 190. That's where people start getting the cranks a little iffy, but um, honestly, it's not needed. The nitrous is more of a novelty than anything. You're not, I mean, 140 horsepower is more than enough already. Um, going back to the front, you got a nice light barb here. I usually run at night since that's when the roads are empty. Um, this does a good job with that. You got brake, gas, fuel, master cylinder here, um, front brakes, you know. Always good to have a little more stopping power, especially when you got added weight and speed. Tachometer, uh, this is the fuel pump for the nitrous. This is uh, the kill switch, and then we got the light switch. And this hasn't been mounted yet, but that's the nitrous button. And then right here, quick disconnect steering wheel allows for easy in and out of the vehicle. Um, running back, as you can see, the seat's a little in a weird position. Uh, two things, this is to make room for all of this engine jack shaft you know gear reduction all that but it also balances out the weight um, with a 160 pound driver we got a 50 50 weight distribution right to left and about a 52 percent in the rear 40 in the front total weight of the vehicle is about 320 pounds last time i measured you can i'll throw these in too they're kind of uh there's some load cells and then this little arduino put it under each wheel then you can uh balance out the weight that you're uh, gonna be running you know always good to have it all uh teed up before you go um running back what do we got the brake is on the jack shaft um this provides a little mechanical advantage although you do have the one issue if you do break a chain you'll lose braking however you still got the front brakes also run a 50 motorcycle chain like a 530 this thing is beefy and i, I as long as you're up on maintenance like you know you're not neglecting it i don't think it's gonna break but um, you know, that's up to you to decide. Uh, as you can see too, we got two axles. Now we got the standard go-kart axle right here. We also got, uh, this little inch and a quarter uh, axle that I can run these junior drag tires on. Um, pretty easy to swap out. Also these junior drag tires hook really well. Um, come around here, all you gotta do is take off this sprocket and this chain, and then I have another sprocket and chain already measured up to go. You just swap in the master link and then throw on the hubs for the junior dragster axles and you're you're ready, ready to drag. Um, got some uh, tail lights wired up at the moment. Um, with the these wheels right now, it will pop wheelies. So that's what this is for, uh, this wheelie bar. Probably need to paint it. I don't know if it's gonna come up in camera, but it is, well, maybe that one's out of batteries. They are light up wheels, which is kind of cool. Hooks into right here, here's the mouse. It is all adjustable to the high end joints. So you can, if, if you wanted to pop a wheelie, a couple of like inches off the ground and hold it, you can you can tune for that. Uh, come around here, we've got a Honda Civic radiator. It is water cooled. This thing works great, you know. Uh, there's your water temp. Never had an issue with heat. Um, coming around, these stingers you might want to replace. They are pretty loud, but if you like the noise, go for it. Um, 3D printed air box, uh, some Edelbrock air filter I got at O'Reilly's, works well, I kind of like the look of it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Other than that, it currently uh, it should go about 130 with the current gearing ratio. However, you're gonna wanna mess with the CVT, it's not getting a full shift out. It's kind of hard because it's a Polaris primary, Yamaha secondary, and getting to the actual CVTs is a pain in the butt. You know, you gotta like, punch out this jack shaft and remove a couple things. However, it's tuned pretty well right now. I've gone in the low 100s and you know, I'm happy with that. Um, you probably could get better top speed and acceleration though if you kind of mess around with that if, and if you're good at tuning CVTs. It does get a little complicated. I don't have a lot of experience, so. Um, I'm trying to think if I missed anything. Yeah, works great. Let me start it up for you. Also, I can sit in it. Here. I'll do a little sit test. You can see like, I'm like 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 just if you uh, want to 
Okay, so it it's like and this thing this thing turns on a dime, especially with the the little wheels on it. Like I'm pretty tight in the seat, and it will like hurt my ribs a little if I really crank it. Um, I honestly, it's like ideal for someone who's like a little taller almost, uh, as far as the foot placement goes. But the pedals are easily easy to be adjusted. Okay, let me turn on the kill switch. I haven't ran it in a long time, so let's get this thing fired up. It is loud too. That is the issue. Um, pull start right back here. It's a pretty good pull. Yeah, I'll be posting this soon. If you have any questions, let me know. I got a bunch of extra parts coming back too. Um, I also have this if you want it. It is the A-Team Astra van. You're gonna have to do some fiberglass modifications to make it work, but it, it is a pretty cool little shell. Um, you know, Astra vans are kind of in style these days too. So um, I have extra parts of all these wheels. I'll throw in sprockets, you name it. Um, just don't have a picture here. Um, yeah, it is uh, pretty darn fun.